Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about three very important science words that is speed, velocity and acceleration. We will understand them step by step using one common example that is you are riding your bike to your friend's house. But before we jump in, we need to quickly understand something called scalar quantity and vector quantity. So firstly, let's see what scalar quantity and vector quantity actually mean. In physics, every measurement we take can be one of these two types. A scalar quantity is something that only has magnitude. In simple words, just a size or amount but no direction. For example, if I say the distance is 5 kilometers, you know how much it is but not in which direction. A vector quantity has both magnitude and direction. If I say the car is moving 5 km north, now you know how much it is and where it's going. So remember this, direction is what makes something a vector. Now let's begin our first term, that is speed. Imagine you start your bike and begin riding on an empty road. You look down at the meter and it says 20 meters per second. That number is your speed. It simply tells you how much fast you are moving without caring about the direction. We can find speed by dividing the distance you travel by the time you take. The formula is speed equals to distance divided by time. Let's take an example. If you travel 100 meters in 5 seconds, your speed will be 100 divided by 5, which is 20 meters per second. This means that your bike is covering 20 meters every single second. The unit of speed can be meters per second or kilometers per hour. And because speed has only magnitude and no direction, it is a scalar quantity. Now next is velocity. Velocity is just like a speed but it also includes direction. So, if speed tells you how fast, then velocity tells you how fast and fair. Let's take example of our bike. If you say, I am moving at 5 meters per second towards my friend's house, that's the velocity. If you suddenly take a left turn, your direction changes. And that means your velocity has changed even if your speed stays the same. The formula of velocity is displacement divided by time. Here displacement means the straight line distance from where you started to where you are now in a specific direction. For example, if you travel 100 meters east in 20 seconds, your velocity will be 100 divided by 20 which is 5 meters per second east. The units of velocity are same as speed, that is meters per second or kilometers per hour, but with direction included. And because velocity has both magnitude and direction, it is a vector quantity. Now let's talk about acceleration. Acceleration means how quickly your velocity changes. It could be speeding up, slowing down or even changing direction. Now think about when you start your bike from a traffic signal. At the beginning, your velocity is 0 meter per second. After 5 seconds, it becomes 20 meters per second east. That change in velocity means you have accelerated. We can calculate acceleration by taking the change in velocity and dividing it by the time taken. For example, initial velocity equal to 0 meter per second final velocity 20 meters per second then change in velocity equal to 20 minus 0 and here time taken is 5 seconds so acceleration equal to 4 meters per second square east that means your velocity is increasing by 4 meters per second every second if you slow down the acceleration becomes negative and we call it deceleration Acceleration is measured in meters per second square. 
and because it depends on velocity which has direction it is also a vector quantity so in our bike example speed tells us i am moving at 20 meters per second velocity tells us i am moving at 5 meters per second east and acceleration tells us my velocity increasing by 4 meters per second every second if you like this video then hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and tell me in the comments should our next video will be on work power or energy so in the next video